Hello, and welcome to Trials 2010's edition. We're out of the Enties, and boy, the contrast between the previous game and this game. The Rainbow Unicorn Cat, the, the awesome level max DLC. It's just, it's hilarious to me how of its time every Trials game is. And of course, the, 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 the trend that makes Trials Rising is a terrible Ubisoft, like, uh, UI. That, that, that's the 2020s mark of gaming. Uh, so this will be a pretty chill stream, as early trial streams tend to be, because we get the easy levels, and we just kind of breeze through them. Uh, trials games, unfortunately, do not have any way to, uh, like, reset a save. They have, like, the Ubisoft cloud save. So I'm not able to start totally fresh. I have played like a little bit of this game, but I'll be starting from the beginning. I'll just I'll be replaying the ones that I played when I got this game. Why is nothing loading? What's going on with that? Is that online content because they they took the servers down to try to get everyone to play Rising? I'm guessing that's what it is. It's trying to load online content. Welcome to the Sansara Industries training program. Level 1. Hi, I'm Cindy, your personal training AI. Uh, controller? Okay, there we go. It just I, I didn't have control until the top of the ele elevator ride. Well, she told me to break. That's a checkpoint. You can hit retry to return to the current checkpoint at any time. You can also hit restart to begin the This is a bit silly for me, but I guess it is it is useful for someone who has never played a trials game before, which is a lot of people. A lot of people have uh, never heard of this series. I mentioned I got a uh, I got this game for a friend because I think if someone were to play one trials game this is probably the best one to recommend this it's really close between this one and the previous one trials evolution sorry before we do more I, I, I realize we should check out our writer let's see what we can do with this guy in this game the last huh Rayman uh Oh, that looks weird. I don't like that. Not that I can get it anyway. It costs, like, acorn bucks. And I don't have acorn bucks. So, uh... Probably for the best. We will not be playing as Rayman. Okay, I complained about... Trials Rising's UI... I already don't completely understand this. Where's just like... Can I only customize entire costumes? I can't customize parts of costumes anymore? Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to customize the rider because I don't feel like learning a menu right now. Never mind. Was that the whole training thing? I didn't, like, skip something, did I? Welcome to the Sansara Industries Training Program, Level 1. Hi, I'm Cindy, your personal trainer. So, in addition to the, like, obviously the very, very different tone and colors and everything as compared to the previous Trials game, this one adds uh, multiple vehicles. Not just different bikes, but it also adds, I think, like a bicycle, an ATV. I don't, I don't know all of them that it adds.
It also adds tricks, which is a little more controversial. I, I hope, like, not too many levels require you to use tricks. Okay, yeah, that was the whole training thing. Will sometimes get you from point A to point B. We have we have a pre-roach bike in this one. Do I get stats? I, I don't get to see bike stats anymore. <laughs> Granted, the stats were not very meaningful, but I have challenges. Well, what are the challenges? Complete at least ten flips while performing a zero fault run. Stop all the turbines by finding the hidden switch. Perform a zero fault run without yield, without leaning. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm gonna do any of those. I'm not gonna worry too much about challenges, but it's cool that uh, it's cool that they, they exist. That adds a lot of uh, that adds a lot of replay value. I don't think I'm gonna like challenges that require me to like scour a level for some obscure hidden thing. But doing stuff like uh, no leaning or a certain number of flips or something, that's neat. I like that. It's like uh, the Crash Bash gem challenges. But really it's like the, it's like the mini games in the previous Trials games, but uh, now you can do them on like at regular levels. I'll bet there are still skill games as well. I'm sure they're in this. I don't think I like that bike. I don't think I'm going to be using the baggy if I can avoid it. Pit Viper, Foxbat, TKO Panda, Rabbit, Donkey. Oh. No, I, this is like a DLC thing. There, there's a unic a cat riding a unicorn is a vehicle in this game. So the donkey was like a really, f it was a deceptively fast, tiny vehicle in the previous ones. Is it still that? I'm surprised I have this already, because it was like one of the last things you got in the last game. Okay, it still is very easy to send out from under you. And it is still very tiny. It's a teeny little stunt bike. Oh boy. Maybe the donkey was a mistake. I'll bet there's challenges for, like, doing levels on the donkey. Yep, donkey was a mistake. Exit. Change. We'll stick with the roach until we get something better. I have had an uneventful morning. Did the Pit of a Hundred Trials in Paper Mario. With uh, no special moves. And no danger build was the conditions of that achievement. Not as bad as I was as as I was expecting it to be. Way better than the, the Twilight Princess pit that I am still like dreading. Nice and easy level into a bunch of uh, Crayola barrels. I do have, uh, I have work stuff starting up again at the end of the week. Wait, is this like a three-part level? No, that's the number of challenges I've done, I think. Okay. I have a route bid on Thursday and uh, bus driver training on Friday, so... I'll probably still do a Smash stream, but it will be—it will have to be delayed until Saturday. We'll see. Oh, 
Oh, hello. That's why the turtle sign was there. These levels are also a lot flashier than uh, Trials Evolution levels, you'll notice. They did some of that in Trials Evolution. They, they tried with, like, uh, I mean, they've always done dynamic levels in Trials. But these ones are really going for, like, huge jumps and, like, scenic background stuff. It's a little bit more Michael Bay than the previous game. I wonder when I played this. I probably got this not too long after I uh, after I discovered the Trials series, which was a very long time ago. Because I didn't have, like, save data on Evolution. I hadn't played that one before streaming it. I'd watched it, but I hadn't played it. So this might have been the first Trials game that I, like, bought on Steam and actually started to play. And you know what? Maybe it wasn't that long ago because I probably started it and then thought, hmm, I should stream this series, and then I stopped. I'm thinking that's why I'm 18% through this game. Alright, got gold. I didn't previously have gold on that one. Uh, cliffhanger. Do I have gold on all these so far? Uh, I do. Okay. Well, let's keep that up. That's not a good loading time on that bike screen. I don't like that. A scurry of squirrels. Is that what a group of squirrels is called? I only got bronze on this. I wonder if this is a difficult level or if I just... Uh, I probably didn't try very hard for goals. I was just trying to get through and unlock more levels, I'm sure. Ah! Well, there goes this gold. Let me scope out the rest of the level. I'll, I'll restart. I want to. I want to at least get all golds on like the very first batch. I'm sure our goals will. Uh, our goals will shift as we go through the levels. Because uh, I, off stream, I did get all golds in the previous game up to a point. I think I got all the hard levels, and everything before them gold. But uh, the extreme levels, I'm not going to bother with those if there's not achievements on the line. Because I am an Xbox gamer. That's not true. I've, I've never owned an Xbox console. But the people I watched who introduced me to Trials were the Achievement Hunter. So, like, it, it, it feels like a series that is intrinsically tried to, tied to achievements. And that's why it sucks so much that it doesn't have them on Steam. Other than Trials 2. Because these all came out when uh, Ubisoft was trying to compete with Steam with Uplay. Which, are they still doing that? Have they given up yet? They have achievements. But uh, the achievements are on Uplay, so it had that like it had that option in the main menu to uh, view view the achievements on Uplay, but they're not on Steam, even though the game is running from Steam. Are there driver voice options? Surely.
I know in one of the one of the games has Jack and Gavin from Achievement Hunter in it. I don't know if it's this one or if it's the if it's Rising. Maybe I'll look into the I'll look into the driver customization and see if I can like figure it out between streams. I wonder why I have 400 acorn bucks, or whatever those are. Because that seems to be the the purchasable currency of the game. Oh, this is a minigame. I can't lean. I just, I completely glossed over that intro text. All right, we're going as far as possible without leaning. Oh, I already got gold on this, so. But that's cool, I guess. Okay. So skill games do exist. They're mixed in with the regular levels, and it tells you if it's like a trials level or a skill game. On the, uh, on the menu. Big air skill game. That's gonna be the one where you have to bail and flap your flap your arms, isn't it? I bet that's what that's gonna be. Welcome to the Samsara Industries training program. Level two. Welcome back, Ryder. It's me, Cindy. Let's work on some intermediate techniques. Intermediate, huh? Like leaning. Intermediate. This, this does feel like it's, it's like, babying me a little bit compared to the previous games. The previous games, you more or less just dropped in and good luck, asshole. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, because these do have a reputation for being very hard games, but... I hope Nick streams this. I'll be very curious to see his, uh... See his, his, uh... Reaction as a, a first-timer for this series. I wonder how many kids played this. Alright, computer joke. The Xbox 360 was very popular with kids. The uh, PlayStation and Xbox kind of swapped between the PS2 and PS3. Whereas the original Xbox was trying very hard to appeal to the uh, adult gamers. And then come the uh, PS3 era. The uh, Xbox 360 found more of a broader, like, family audience, and the PS3 was the console of that generation trying the most to appeal to, uh, you know, adult gamers. I'm going to assume on pretty much all of these early levels that uh, gold is faultless. New personal record. But was it enough for gold? I need 40 seconds for gold. Alright. We can do that. Let's try it again. I don't like that. I don't like that start. I should have checked if I had unlocked any more bikes. I probably haven't though, if I'm just if I'm only now being told how to lean. I should not be making as big jumps as I'm making. 
contrary to what uh, what like looks flashy, you generally want to stay close to the ground in these games. Because the more time that your wheel is on the ground, the more time you're building speed. Alright, 40 seconds. Assuming like the previous game, there are Platinums, but we have to uh, get like a certain distance through the game to unlock the visibility of Platinums. Which I don't love. I wish that they would do games would just show you everything from the get-go, but... I mentioned that's another annoying thing in Crash. Crash uh, doesn't show you Platinum times until after you've, like, beaten the game. Which just, you know... Let me choose if I want to do them, like, immediately, or wait to do them until later. You don't need to make that choice for me. I'm gonna try to keep going for Faultless this string. Or I'm gonna keep, keep trying to go for gold anyway. Hmm? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think Trials Evolution ends up being four videos. Four or five. I hope this isn't too much longer than that. I'd like to get through... I'm, after I get through this game, we'll probably do a... Uh, we'll do some multiplayer streams. Probably maybe one multiplayer stream of Trials Evolution and uh, this game. Because they both have four-player levels. Uh, 45 seconds. All right, we can do that. Hello, Darian. We chillin'. We just kind of doing easy levels and shooting the shit as the first stream of Trials often goes. Are you still doing a uh, Voltron? Are you in the middle of that? You mentioned that you've been uh, you've been watching that on Mondays. Uh. How is it? I I know nothing about I almost nothing about the Voltron franchise, other than I think. That was a good animation. I think it's one of those ones that was like... It was an American-created franchise because of, like, the dubbing creation. Yeah, that's the one where they took two, like, uh... They took two unrelated anime series and just both... They called them both Voltron when they dubbed them over here. And then it got, in a, like, a following and now an original... Like, actually original Netflix show. But most of my Voltron knowledge comes from Robot Chicken. That show was a lot about uh, 80s nostalgia, which was slightly before my time. Actually, come to think of it, it's kind of surprising they don't do more, like, Mario stuff in Robot Chicken. Given how much of the, like, the Mario cartoons were a big part of the 80s, right? Not my cup of tea. Yeah. I'm generally not into uh, robot shows. The only exceptions being Code Geass, because it has a lot of other stuff going on. And uh, Big O. 
because it's anime noir Batman. Also, Big O has like an actually original kind of interesting robot design. You're right. Which one? I, I just, I blanked. What? Which one did I just do? Okay, it was sheer pressure I just did. I'm on Shivering Isles. A lot of Gundam-inspired robots feel very samey. Like, they're, they're very sleek, humanoid, mobile, zipping around like they're flash-stepping like a Dragon Ball character. That's why I do love Big O, is just, it's this big, conking, Gan hulking Ganondorf Victorian looking thing. It can't move fast at all, but it's like a heavy in a fighting game. If it gets a hold of you once, you're through. I guess by that logic I should watch Gigantor, but that's that's also a little bit before my time. I'm a 90s boy. Uh, I don't remember if I posted it in our Discord, but uh, Nickelodeon put out some, like, awful-looking... It was like a racing cartoon? Or a short on YouTube or something? And it had a bunch of the Nicktoons characters, like you know, Spongebob and Chucky and Lincoln Loud. But the animation, it, it looked like the quality of, like, a bootleg mobile game. It was awful! It's like a 2024 Nicktoons racing video on YouTube. It is so bizarre and cheap looking. I wonder what Nickelodeon has been up to in terms of new IPs since the Loud House. I haven't had cable in years, so I have no like no frame of reference. But Nickelodeon is somewhat famously the uh, the network that just milks the successful shows as much as possible and doesn't really have a ton of room for uh, for new shows a lot of the time. Which is why we're still getting Spongebob. We're still getting Fairly Odd Parents. Have they given up on the Loud House yet? They tried the Casa Grandes, but uh, I heard that didn't go well. I also heard some, like, Spongebob movies leaked recently. Which, I, I don't like talking about leaks, but it's, like, the corpse of a 20-year-old franchise. So, like, who really cares at this point? There's, like, a Sandy movie or a Plankton movie or something. I also heard they were not very good, but that's not surprising from 2024 Spongebob. Him? I am losing to my ghost. However, I am faultless, so maybe it'll be okay. 39 seconds. Not gold. Uh, 3450. 34500. Okay. Well, I'll have to do significantly better, but I still think I can do that. A part of me kind of wants to go for some of these challenges because the idea of challenges in this game is cool. But that's going to add a lot of stream time if I try to do those.
Oh, that was a crash. What, just because you smashed your face through the handlebars a little bit? Well, excuse me, princess. I don't know why I said that. had nothing to do with, with what just happened. I still have my brain on 80s cartoons. I should check that out at some point. The old, uh, like, 13-episode Zelda cartoon. That was a really horny show for the time. Which brings me to my next point. Thousand Year Door is really horny for a Mario game. But that's also kind of charming about it in a weird way. I think the Zelda cartoon is one of the better video game adaptations out there. I could see that for Zelda. I don't think I would agree with the Super Show. Just because, like, the Super Show came out when there was only Mario 1 and 2. They didn't have any lore, and they didn't really, like, attempt to have any lore. Mostly what the Super Show did is they would just take, like, fairy tales and old stories and stick the Mario cast in them. Like, one week it would be Mario Brothers Aladdin. One week it would be Bowser's a judge. We got we got a one one week it was he was a giant robot or there was like a kaiju fight. Welcome to the Samsara Laboratories. Which I guess there can be a charm to that depending on how it's handled. Enjoy. It's one of my favorite anime Excel saga. Is just completely built around fucking with genre. Compared to other video game adaptations. How many more were there at that time? I, I guess if we're including all, like, vaguely old ones, we're talking about, like, the, the Street Fighter movie, the first Mario movie. Like, yeah, th those were all very unfaithful. I also hated what they did with Sonic in America. I hated all the American Sonic stuff. If you love it, great. I'd, I'd more power to you. But even if you love it, the fact that you love it and I hate it is, is a big part of the blame as to why Sonic is now so divisive. Why everybody wants a different thing from the Sonic franchise is because America gave him such a different identity from what he was supposed to be. I think that was what started it. Oh, that was a breezy one. Was that still not gold? Or did I already have gold? Captain N. Captain N was at least... Captain N was entertaining schlock. That was funny bad, at the very least. I just do deep freeze. See now, now I'm getting distracted by uh, by American Sonic and Captain N, and I'm not paying attention to uh, what levels I'm doing. I think this is the level I just did. We got future cars. What is this? What's this letter? Upgrade level one excavator outfit? Okay. Garage. Is that where I do my dry my rider? In the garage? Cause I would think I would do that in, you know, rider. I don't know. I'm going to continue not worrying about it. This, this UI confuses me. 
Maybe I should recommend Trials Evolution instead of this one. Oh, hello. Good start. This is gonna be up. This is all moving parts. The level. I see what we're doing. Attention visitors, we are performing maintenance and would like to warn you of abruptly shifting floors. This is really cool, though. Like it's unnecessary, but it is really cool. I think they attempted, like, one level like this in Evolution, where stuff would magically appear in front of you as you were going through the level. It was rare, but this happened once or twice in the previous game. Damn it. I love the Zelda cartoon's interpretation of Ganon. It was definitely better than CDI Ganon, at least. Given how little they had to work off of, Cartoon Ganon was, like, more intimidating than Game Ganon at that time. Because he was just, like, a big, goofy pig monster. I forget what he looked like in, uh... In Captain N, I think they more or less... I think they kind of borrowed the, uh, the Zelda cartoon design. I don't remember, though. Are we done yet? Is the level almost over? I'm getting real nervous. I'm going to lose this faultless. Oh. Uh... Okay. Gold medal. We're good. How much dev time goes into the cutscenes, like the slapstick death scenes at the end of these levels? They gotta make a whole area for this. They All of this needs to be modeled. I guess I've done two of the... What were the... What were the challenges in this? I, I guess I can't see without going into the level. Challenges. X. Uh, perform and safely land seven flips. Find and complete the warp zone. Okay. I guess I've done that. Well, it's kind of cool. I wish I'd known where that was. If, if it's like a cool secret area, I'd kind of want to show it off. But, oh well. Okay, skill game. Big error. This is the this is the bail one, isn't it? Bail out with Y at the end of the end of a end of the jump. This jump? Okay. I thought maybe there was another jump, because this one is not very jumpy. I figured it would, like, go up like a ramp. No, it just it just ends. The road just ends. Press the wrong button. Okay, so the way to do these... These are not that skill-based. It's a lot of luck. Unless this was changed from previous games. In previous games, you would just kind of press Y and then hold up and away. Am I missing something? I, I must be missing something. 
Let me see if I can, like, wheelie more on the way down. You want to wheelie on the way down and then lean forward at the end. I don't understand how I'm supposed to, like, flap, though. Oh, alright. That's something. That was still only bronze, though. Huh. Well, there's some kind of technique to that. I'm not going to worry about goaling that one, because it's a skill game. And it's a skill game that I don't particularly like. Urban Sprawl. Medium levels. Welcome to the Sansara Industries training program. Level 3. Welcome back, Tiger. Today we'll learn some advanced techniques. On a steep hill, take it slow. Lean forward and don't press the gas pedal all the way. I hate the bunny hop. Don't don't make me bunny hop. I was worried they were not going to give me that for a second. Some objects can be knocked over. The laws of physics apply to them as well as you. No, I just knocked it over. Don't make it... Don't bring it back up again. One more lesson. Drive on to this seesaw, and when the far end starts to rise, hit the gas. His axe. I wonder what this lore is. I wonder if this is ever, like, expanded over the course of the levels, or if there's, like, uh... If this were an older game, it would be in the manual. Alright, Skyscraper Showdown. Challenges are... Complete at least 15 flips. Perform a zero-fault run without letting go of gas or using the brakes. Get the fusion ball over the finish line. Okay, that's something that I would have to find somewhere in the level, I'm sure. We still have not unlocked any more bikes. About the new Doom port, the description says it's built with Boom Source Port compatibility, so only wads compatible with Boom can run it. I keep seeing people upload the really popular wads. Yeah, I've never, I've never even heard of Boom. I know, I know, GZ Doom. That like a lot of people use that, don't they? I'm aware of, of, like, two popular ones, and Boom is neither of them. No, no, don't fall. This is not difficult enough yet that I'm giving up on Faultless. Kind of looks like a uh, Ratchet and Clank architecture. A little bit. I guess any vague, like, uh, futuristic city would. Yeah! This guy's voice feels a little bit out of place for this setting. 
he he had his scream is very Homer like. Today's weather report is cloudy, with a chance of falling motorcycles. All right. So it, it seems like we've caught up to where I was, or where I had previously played up to. So now we're getting we're getting new levels, and progressing the career as intended. I wonder how many levels I had to play with the baggy. Maybe I had to unlock the roach. Like maybe I've been using that on some on some levels that I uh, I shouldn't have had had access to it on. Oh, uh, 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 the spinning surprised me. I didn't expect to flip. It is nice to have colors again. This looks so, so bright and happy compared to Trials Evolution. It's such a funny illustration of how, like, how different games in the in the 2000s could be because of that brown is real thing. I always miss. I technically the trope is called real is brown. That's the article on TV tropes. I we say it wrong every single time, but I, I'm just I'm used to it. So a lot of the, like a lot, a lot of the uh, Doom wads that people have made then are just not compatible with this, despite it setting out to, uh, despite it setting out to give mod compatibility to console players. That's a shame. Oh boy. Land it, please. No faults, no faults. Probably not going to get an amazing time on this. Now I'm having to play careful. Silver medal. Not fast enough. Oh! 102. I was less than a second off. And it even allows me a fault. That sucks. I did lose a lot of time on that one ramp, so it shouldn't be too hard to cut off less than a second. I hate that. That landing. Every time I land on it wrong and I flip. I'm gonna see if I can maintain all golds for this stream. Which will be, you know, a little over two hours like usual. And then I guess next stream I'll start settling for, uh... I'll start settling for silver if need be.
if I had more time to stream, then uh, maybe I'd do all gold runs of these games. Maybe maybe I would care about getting every gold every time, but it'd be a lot of replaying levels. There would be a lot of streams that were just like one or two levels in that case. And I don't think that would be very fun to watch, I mean. I guess. I mean, I, I guess it would be as fun to watch as, uh, as Crash Bandicoot time trials. Which are also not that fun to watch. I saw... I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I saw Kadikaris. The Mad Lad did a 200% video in Crash Bash, which I assume means all Platinum Relics. And that sucks. To illustrate how bad that is, if you asked me to uh, get all Platinums in Crash 4 or all Platinums in Crash Bash, I would have to think about it. Because uh, Crash Bash, the Platinums relics, the relics in that game are for beating really, really hard CPUs multiple times in a row, which is extremely luck-based in a lot of cases. So you kind of just have to, like, steal yourself and throw yourself at these minigames over and over and over and over again. Until you get good enough and lucky enough to get, I think, Platinum is four wins in a row. I have, uh, I don't think I've ever gotten all relics in Crash Bash. And I like the game. I, I will defend Crash Bash. I actually enjoy it quite a lot. United Nations Ungoverned Regions. I wonder if there's, like, lore breakdown videos of Trials games. I wonder if anyone, any YouTuber, cares enough about this series to do content like that. Or specifically cares enough about, like, the story in the series. Which I don't think there really was one prior to this game. And because I've never played through this game, I don't know how, like, much of one there even is in this one. It's just, I don't know, interesting to think about, I suppose. Well, that took longer than it probably should have. Flip my ride. Hilarious. Uh, I, w I would like to have been active in this game when it launched and had friends that also played Trials to be able to, like, compete with their times and things. It feels like a cool community thing that I just, I missed. That's how I felt about PS2 Online. The Ratchet games. I have, a, I have an old friend who played those online a lot. Uh, Jack X had a online. And it always sounded co so cool, but I just, I never played, you know, PS2 games online. Because you needed to have a, a cord going into the back of your PS2. And so I just, mi I missed all that. I guess it's my own fault that I missed the uh, Trials Rising community because I decided to stop playing the series until I uh, until I caught up with streaming them, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel too bad about that one because 
it, it, it just feels like such a Ubisoft, like, cash-grabby, microtransaction-filled game. It, it just doesn't have the magic that uh, this game and, and Evolution had. yell. I will be very happy if we get another Trials game that is like, that pulls way back on that Ubisoft stuff. I don't know if it'll happen, but it'd be nice. What happened recently? The Hi-Fi Rush studio was supposedly picked up by the owners of PUBG. They bought it from Microsoft to uh, quote-unquote save the studio. I say quote-unquote because uh, I tend to not, not trust stories like that too much until I hear from like the studio itself. Until, until, I, until that happens, I'm, I'm quicker to just believe it's a, it's a PR move on the uh, PUBG guy's part. Because there's a difference between saving, like, grabbing an IP because you intend to use it, and, like, uh, you know, saving the people who work at a studio and continuing to give them work. We, we'll have to, we'll have yet to see if that happens. Perfectly cut off screams. MP4. Marinomania, FMX. Oh, that's the that's the tricks. Okay, so it's a specific type of level. Is the tricks levels? Splatoon is a game that a series that I've always liked the aesthetic and the lore of but I just I don't have fun playing it I wish I did I don't just not my kind of game why, why is there like a statue of a motorcycle guy I need to I need to know about this lore, about this culture. Are riders treated as like deities? like that jump. That jump is probably... That jump will single-handedly stop me from trying to get gold on this level, I feel. Maybe. It was easy enough after I reset, at the very least. No, it's the end, though. Added an extra two faults. Come on. All right, one fault, 45 seconds. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can do this one. The platinum times, the platinum relics on the on this, in these games are to me, maybe not as bad as like the, maybe not as bad as the dev time relics in Crash Four, 
but definitely not doable. Worse than the Platinum Relics in Crash 4. If these games did have achievements on Steam, and the, one of the achievements was to get all Platinums, I, that, that would disincentivize me from doing the achievements. I don't think I could physically do that. Alright, so I gotta, I gotta not go full ham at the top of that, uh, that ramp. Well, that was, like, way less bad that time. Alright, that went way better. Easy peasy. ship is so slow. And yet, if you're the kind of... If you're, like, a completionist, there's some of these that you have to watch because they lead to, like, a collectible or something. Very bizarre series, Trials. Level 20. Renaissance wheels. What are they, like, wo like wooden? Alright, let's learn about the trick system. I'm just, I'm holding my stick. If I hold my, I'll hold my right stick to the left, I get Superman. If I hold it up. No, that's coffin. Down? That's that. Uh, is, is that the right one? I'm trying to do, like, a Street Fighter input. If I go, like, down, cir half circle up. Now I don't understand what I'm doing. Underdog. Can you give me more direction? Like, what are the inputs? Okay, I did it, I guess. don't understand how I'm getting different moves. Okay, so first I gotta figure out how I... like... how I ride... off the... the handlebars. I gotta like... I gotta stick out straight forward from the handlebars, and then I gotta rotate it upside down. Like that? Is that it? I'm doing it! That's totally the move! Slosh? Slosh? Slash? Guns and Roses? Yeah... I, I did that one earlier, that was like pressing down? How did I do it? Okay. 
I barely understand how I did those. Uh, this felt this feels like it could have been done better if the commands were like consistent in some way, but they don't feel consistent. In practice, I'm probably just going to like hit a random stick direction in the air and get a random trick without any intention behind it. Oh, well, I'm supposed to be doing tricks now, I guess. It's a fine idea, I suppose. I feel like this could have worked for this series. I don't know if I like Cin Cindy. Is that her name? She sounds kind of momish. All FMX tracks are unlocked. Did that unlock tracks in previous areas? Daredevil Showdown Crank. Like the movie? Uh, nope. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. Alright. Uh, no. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Urban Sprawl. Daredevil Showdown and Crank. Pass the track to get bronze. Offers fantastic in-air control and relaxed suspension. Oh, there's the ATV. Can't use the donkey. Even though the donkey seems like it would be the perfect bike for stunts. Like, this is what a stunt bike looks like. Did that not count? That wasn't a trick? What do you mean, dead sailor? Oh. Uh. Okay, so the weight of the rider, like, getting back onto the bike, that weight shifting will affect your landing. Like, you see how I suddenly, like, flipped my flip speed increased there? That makes sense physically. It, it makes this a lot harder. <laughs> that looked like it sucked. Yeah. I'll be the first to admit, I don't feel like I'm having, like, particular fun doing this. I think it was overcomplicated. I think they could have had a much a much simpler tricks system. And it would have worked a little better. Someone out there loves this. Someone thinks this is the best thing they ever added to Trials. And they're mad that other people just, like, they just don't get it, man. Why was that not a trick? I clearly did a thing. That didn't even count as anything. I wonder what the dead sailor thing was. 
Okay, wheelies are worth something. I got gold somehow. I just kind of pressed buttons, but that was gold, I guess. Tony Hawk, this is not. Career money earned. Alright, Crank. What is, what is Crank? What do you want me to do for this? Can I ride the unicorn yet? No. I'll bet the unicorn has great stats. Use your skills to survive as long as possible. Do I feel like keep building up my score? It, it is like the movie Crank. I have to keep my adrenaline up. Why is that not worth points? Okay, maybe it's not. It, it This doesn't deal in points. This deals with uh, the energy level. I don't think I'm very good at this. I think I was better at the previous one. Uh, oh, oh, no, I survived it. I wasn't expecting to survive. That was silver somehow. Distance. I need twice that distance for, uh, for gold. But, uh, again... I'm not too concerned with doing golds on the skill games. Cactus challenge. Uh, Trickmaster skill game. Red Link's Rampage. Not allowed the Fox Bat. Four-wheel drive. Colossally powerful, heavy, and unique. It's, it's unique. Doesn't seem like it would be good for Trials levels, but let's try it. I think this game was pretty innocuous before the, uh, the DLC. Like, before they added the cat riding the unicorn, it wasn't... It was kind of like 2010s, but it wasn't aggressively 2010s. You know, like how Trials Evolution is aggressively NTs. This drives better than I thought it would. It doesn't feel bad. I don't think I'm going to get, like, gold medals using it, but... It is at least usable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Aw, that was right at the end, too. New event unlocked. Rainforest Rumble. That, great! That was a gold? Oh. If gold was that easy, I could get platinum on that one. They definitely lightened up on the gold requirements. We would not have gotten, uh golds that allow for a fault this early in the game in uh, Trials Evolution. Well, screw it. Let, let's stick with the let's stick with the, ca the with the panda. Let's ride our ATV through the cactus desert. Uh hold and land a perfect superman pose over the road jump. Dunk all of the Penguins? There's penguins here? Complete a zero fault run, performing at least five flips in under 65 seconds. Is it like a Madagascar joke? Is that why there's penguins here?
green clouds. Because it's post-apocalyptic, I think. I think the whole trial series is, like, in a post-apocalypse. It's like a Mad Max world, where instead of everyone being violent, everyone just likes to do cool dirt bike stunts. I think that's the general lore of the trial series. Was was it like an AI apocalypse? Is that what happened? The, did the anomaly AI destroy the world? This is a very happy post-apocalypse compared to how they usually go. I guess maybe that's why I was th thinking of Splatoon earlier. Because that's also a post-apocalyptic setting. But it's like way, like way distant future, where they, they've rebuilt a like squid society and everything, so... It's not too bad. There's just, you know, no humans. Okay, we got one of these. Aesthetic levels. This is Donkey Kong Country. I'm what, what what am I reminded of? It's like uh, that uh, someone did someone did like an Unreal Engine remake of Donkey Kong Country or something. But I think it might have been a joke because I remember it looking kind of shitty. I also might just be misremembering, but I swear I remember someone attempting a remake of Donkey Kong Country that looked very mu very much like this. I'm completely ignoring whatever story is happening. Not intentionally, I'm, j I'm just... <laughs> I'm just missing it, I'm sorry. Base Invader. This feels easier than the previous world. I don't like you, Cindy. You sound fake. Man, at least GLaDOS had personality. Cindy just sounds like she's gonna talk to me about, I don't know, smartphone games or something. These are very short levels compared to the, the, the city levels. Again, non-faultless gold. Pretty forgiving. I wish I could see the Platinums, just because I'm, I'm curious what they are, but... That's not the game. The game won't show us those. We're breezing through this, to be honest. I like this. I think this might be my favorite of the vehicles that I have so far. It might also be because it's the, it's the strongest of the vehicles that I have so far. I'm sure it'll be like woefully outclassed once I get the good bikes. Oh, 
all those uh, all those high platforms that I can't get to because I don't have a bike that's fast enough to get up to them. Uh oh, uh oh, I just saw the explosive. Ah! Oh, was that an explosion? It barely went off. You can't kill me over that. It also does matter that this is all-wheel drive, since I don't have to, uh... I don't have to necessarily completely focus on just having my back wheels on the ground. That's gonna be great in places where, uh, you're... you, like, get stuck, and you just need to pull yourself up. Having front-wheel drive would be amazing for that. Alright, what's our gold? One fault, 118. All right, easy. I wonder if you can bring yourself on that tree. I wonder if it's possible to go fast enough to uh, hit it on, like, the Z-axis or whatever it is to... It looks like it crosses with the path, at least. Come on, further, further, yes, okay. No exploding. They knew you'd use the ATVs on uh, ATV on these levels. Uh, it feels like it, they feel like ATV levels, and you just unlocked it here. So, all right, FMX Red Links Rampage. I don't think I want to try FMX on the ATV. Oh, they're not going to let me anyway. Alright, so is this just to get a certain score? Is it, I, I'm assuming that's what the FMX ones are. And they're probably all going to play very similarly because... Again, I'm just pressing buttons. Not pressing buttons, but I'm just holding the stick, and whatever trick comes out is what I get. Uh, I wonder how much faults, like, subtract. Alright, gold medal again. I guess I'm good at this. Three more medals to something. Uh, Trickmaster. the trick on screen. Okay, well, how do I do that? I don't know the inputs. Superman. Uh, I think I did... I, did, did I hit left for that one? There it is, I guess. 
Underdog. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry about this. This, this is a Google the Inputs minigame, is what this one is. They're all like Street Fighter commands, and I don't know them, so... Rainforest Rumble skill shot. How much of this is there? Welcome to the Abyss. Fire in the Deep. Are these... Do I have these? Okay, I do have these. Whatever these orange ones are. And then these two are DLC. So I don't need to worry about those two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 left. I've done four so far. Okay. So more than it looks like. I wonder why they're orange. Does that just indicate that they're hard or higher? Bungalow Beach. Uh, now, now I, my panda has been taken away from me. I'm down to using the roach. Is there a point to you? That, that's the other thing about the about the tricks. Aside from the levels where they're explicitly about doing the tricks, there's not really a point to using them. I don't get any kind of like increase in speed or like bonus to my results or anything. I guess in some ways that's a good thing because it means it's a non-intrusive gimmick. Like I can just ignore they exist and that doesn't fundamentally change the normal game flow. The newest monkey ball I've heard good things about. The banana rumble, I think it's called. Which the gimmick of that, or the new mechanic, is a little spin dash maneuver. Which works really well for Monkey Ball. It is not as... A, they added, like, a jump in a previous Monkey Ball entry, and that required, like... That was a radical gameplay change. Like, levels had to be redesigned around that. Whereas the Spin Dash is a, felt like a much more natural extension of the Monkey Ball formula. It built upon the game rather than changing the game. I was also I, I I didn't like that about Tony Hawk Underground either the addition of walking because that fundamentally changed everything about Tony Hawk Tony Hawk. Man. Setting aside anything else about the Underground games, like uh, the, the writing also got very very crass. I was always kind of crass in the Tony Hawk series, but it got, like, it tripled down in Underground, and especially Underground 2, with, like, all the jackass stuff. I'm curious, we... Next Tony Hawk game we play is gonna be Tony Hawk 5, because we gotta see what a shit show that is, but we will continue the series, like, as it went after that at some point. gonna play uh, I think American Wasteland is the one after Underground 2 then there was Project 8 so we'll, we'll, we'll get to those we'll see how the series I'm curious how the series progressed after Underground 2 and the jackassery that that game was new event unlocked I, I don't want a skill showcase. 
That sounds like it's gonna be full of skill games. I mean skill showcase. Is that all skill games or is that just the next world? I think it's just the next world, okay. Uh, Swamp Crash. Give me, give me my panda back. I want, I want an ATV at the beach. Well, I've managed to get all gold so far, so I, I'm happy about that, at least. Oh, that's, that's water. That's deep water, not shallow water. Another thing about underground and underground, well, underground too, especially the uh, the but the guest characters got very silly. They're always a little silly. Like, come on, Spider-Man, Wolverine on a skateboard, Darth Maul. But then underground two comes along and gives us Shrek and Call of Duty Soldier. All right, silver medal. A 45, 40, 47 seconds with two faults for gold. That's so forgiving compared to Trials Evolution. Well, I can do it, I, I can do that. 47 seconds. I wonder if it's reasonably possible to even, like, do that, to fault twice and still get under that time. Because if you fault and reset, you don't, like, get your time back. You still lose the time that you spent, you know, dying. Ah. Oh. You gotta really take it slow on these early ones to, like, maintain momentum. I didn't realize that was a big a jump as it was. I don't need to. I don't need to go faultless. I, I can just. I can use the normal reset on this one. losing to myself. Oh, no, 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 no! Man. Again. I forgot. This is a mean series of jumps to start with. Making you go slow out of the gate. I, I bet you don't have to with, like, the good bikes. The fastest ones can make it over, like, a jump or two without... Without having to go this slow. There we go. That That's a good... Uh, that's some good momentum. We like that. Go on the 
plane engine. No! Okay, we're fine. We have a fault. We have two faults. 47 seconds. We missed it. Those couple of fuck-ups at the very end. Well, so far it's looking like this will be a shorter game than the previous one. Although I'm sure I'm jinxing it by saying that. Like, the meat of Trials games always comes down to the final few levels, because those are the ones that I'm going to be spending, you know, a long time on per level. It's so tempting to, like, gas it when I land from this jump, because it's such a nice, smooth landing. But I gotta do one more. Fine. We just gotta slightly beat our previous time. Wow. Up the plane, and there we go. Gold. All right. Tropic Storm, Titan's Temple, Triathlon. What is that going to be? Am I am I going to be on multiple bikes? It seems like the bikes that are locked are pretty much consistent throughout the world. What's back here? This looks suspicious. No, 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 eh. I, I feel like there might be something back there. That That's where they would hide a squirrel. We're starting with the uh, slightly mean obstacles. No, no, no. My gold. It's evaporating. So I can land on my wheel on top of this, but I have to be very careful with my leaning so as not to uh, go flying forward. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, well, hmm. That seemed like a good, like, time-saving route. Maybe I did the right thing by accident. I don't know how I feel about a Trials game having a story. Or about trying to have dramatic dialogue as, as this silly business is happening. This driver doing his silly screams and falling into a pit and turning into a ghost. I can either take it seriously or I can not take it seriously. You can't have both, Trials. No hurry.
It's like GLaDOS, but not as fun, because she's not trying to kill me. Oh. Oh, that's an explosive. Okay. So how... This is... Is this our first obstacle of the stream? Of the stream? No, it's just a slightly difficult jump. It's still very doable. Fifty-five seconds with three faults. All right, let's do it. I'll bet that I could gold all of the non-orange levels without too much difficulty. That's the goal I'm gonna set for myself. I hope that's not all the levels, and it turns out the orange ones are like, uh, they're like Grand Prix or something. I hate doing Grand Prix in Trials games. Just a marathon run of four levels. With limited fuck-ups over the course of it. I think I generally prefer short trials levels similar to like uh, super meat boy i think the best way i think the best way to handle a game like this is is small contained challenges and not like marathon runs man where is my three faults and i'm behind my other self and four faults I lost a fair bit of time on that uh, that final ramp on my first run, so that's that's where I can make it up. I can also just generally make uh, slightly smaller jumps to uh, stay on the ground more. Maintain my momentum instead of landing flat on an upwards ramp like that. Oh, nope. Didn't hit that right. I saw the, uh, the Extreme Levels VOD from Trials Evolution was getting a number of views. I guess people like seeing the, uh, the, the difficult levels, which, I yeah, I can't blame them. It gets boring to watch someone, like, do a, a, a challenge over and over again, but, uh... You do at least get the satisfaction of seeing how it's finally done. As opposed to these streams, which are... well, this stream. Early trial streams, for the most part, are just, uh, just kind of going through the motions. I'm sure you all know that I, I can do these levels, because they're not, like, challenging yet. I hope you all believe in me anyway. We'll get to the point where we'll get to the really hard levels, and we'll have to see if they're, uh, if they're as difficult as Trials Evolution. Because so far, this game has felt easier. This feels like it's, uh, trying to appeal to newer, less skilled players more. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the end levels will be easier. It could still, like, scale up gradually. Stay on the pl stay on the containers. Make the jump. Make the jump. Yes. I don't know if it'll happen, but boy, it'd be swell if I could somehow just like l get, trip my way into a platinum.
Okay. 50 seconds. Gold medal. Can I do that? I wonder if there's female writers in this game. I don't think there were in previous Trials games. Surely you can make, you can play as like, yeah, it, it mentioned like, uh, it had like a gender for the writer on the, on the writer screen. So I guess, I, I guess this was the first one to add female writers? Alright, FMX, what are we doing? Yep, too much. Too much spin. Spin to lose. Somehow I landed that. Bad landing. Ah, I'm also not... Why am I not getting some of these, like, uh... That counted for double front flip, but it didn't count whatever trick I did. Okay, so I have to, like, fully land back on my bike before, uh... I have to fully secure myself back on my bike before landing to get the trick in a lot of these cases, it seems like. Unlike that. Somehow that counted. Well, no, it didn't. It did. It only counted the flip. So it seems like my rider has a difficult time landing back on the bike while simultaneously flipping. I can't just keep spinning while he does the 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 get on bike animation. I'm I'm so confused as to what will count as a trick and what will just be a front flip. What was- I clearly did a trick! This is stupid. This is inconsistent. I guess bailing just ends your multiplier. Silver, good enough. I don't care about these levels. These don't count. I, I see why people would have not liked the, the trick stuff in this game. Now granted, there was also like skill games that I didn't like in the previous Trials games. This is going to be like a whole batch of levels, though. A whole, a whole bunch of FM, FMX levels. Three chances to take the top spot on the leaderboard. Long jump, high jump, and bunny hops. Best bunny hops. What do you mean, best bunny hops? Like, the most? 
I don't understand this third one. Somehow that performance was a medal. Okay, so I get long I get long jump and I get high jump. I I don't know what that third one was. Just get to the end, I guess. All right. Uh, personal info. Upgrade outfit. Do I, like, do I upgrade outfits by wearing them? Is that how this works? I don't know. I don't understand this UI. We've been going 151. Uh... Select event. Let me let me just confirm what this is. I want to confirm that these orange ones are not like a series of four levels. That these are like uh, another batch of levels each. They seem to be. I, I don't really understand why they're orange, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm just trying to measure how much of the game I have left for future streams is all. Uh, uh, no. All right, yeah, they're just they're just levels. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more. I've done two, three, four, five. How many are in this? Eight. Let's at least start this one. Welcome to the Sansara Industries training program. Level four. Let me show you some expert techniques. Sometimes ledges can be quite high up. Do a bunny hop. Nudge back, then forward quickly. I learned that one already. You 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 taught me about the bunny hopping. Doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I know about it. Are we going to be doing stuff like this on all the levels to come? Is this the part where I'm going to have to give up on the gold? If Wickersham does play this, I wonder if this is going to be the point where he, where he has to give up. Oh, I hate these. I hate doing bunny hops on slopes. This is the worst. I, w I wonder what... I wonder what number five is going to be. Because there's not a lot in the game more advanced than this. This is one of the hardest things that the Trials games generally ask you to do. Rear wheel first, 
onto each platform and slowly accelerate. Yep, I, I am familiar with this. Slow acceleration, though? That's for pussies. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe I should. Maybe I should slow accelerate a little bit. This was, uh, this was that whole, this was that challenge at the end of, uh, not at the end, but in, uh, Inferno 2? You didn't get any of these kinds of tutorials in the previous games. You, you would just run into one of these types of obstacles and the game would say, good luck. It is good that this, like, teaches you the basic theory, at least. Oh, no, that is the hardest one. Okay, five was the FMX license. So I, I have done all the tutorials. All right, well, these are, okay, these are the hard levels, I see. Well, you know what? We're just coming up on two hours. So now that we've, we've reached the threshold of the hard levels, we're done with the medium ones. Wait, hold on. Oh, that was FMX. Okay, that, that's why I didn't. Uh, that's why I didn't get gold on that. That's fine. I'm gonna stop the stream here, and we will start next time at the first batch of hard levels. We have nine sets left, so nine sets of hard levels and up will be substantial. We will probably have at least three more streams of this, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching today. I may be back tomorrow or Wednesday. Not Thursday or Friday. And then we'll probably do a normal stream with Jack on Saturday. Smash on Friday is the plan. Not on Friday, on Saturday. I got my days all mixed up. Anyway, that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Adios.